Now what we can do with this new drawing be the girl here. How to start this one again? Do line at the top, uh, airline, airline, and at the bottom, which will be the uh, the kneecap, and you, you still have the same angle here as we had on the previous one. Well, hold on, not on this one, but what I mean is that look, it's a. Oh, thank you, Jackie. <coughs> look, is this one? Side and then movement like that. It's kind of a semicircle. Is that from her face? Yeah, from from the top there. It's just a. It, there's nowhere in particular. If you want to be more precise, it will be this one, this angle, top of the head, to the shoulder, and then this one here. And then the movement of the body, and then you have look. These are pretty much at the same level. Angle, shoulders. And move it down, and you have a tube, which I call that a tube or a cylinder. Uh, this one of both, I mean, I'm talking about the, the upper arm, shoulder, face, hairline, hair. Uh, chin is inwards, it's inside the collarbone, chin. Face is quite dark here on this side, face. I'm starting with the face on this one. You don't have to, but I think it's okay because it's a lot of portrait going on. It's a lot more than on the girl at the top, previous model. Then you have a nose here, eye, uh, eyebrow, eye, um, chin inwards here, the tube, as I said, of the upper arm. Then you've got the lower arm, then you have uh, hip and then a vertical line from the top of the head moves right there so top of the head right here and then down 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 if I take that right down it's onto her kneecap so that's where the kneecap will be at least the left one a left kneecap then you have Tamara my son He's got keys. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's what my son does. What keys when locks the door? I don't understand that. It's only school early. Quarter to two. So he's right. I know, I know. So, oh, so then you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> so then he finishes early. Yeah. I know. He's, sometimes he finishes that time, yes. That's the time he finishes. Once or twice a week, something like that. But um, lovely, they just let them go early sometimes. What are you going to do? Six one. 12 years, 12. 12. so it's one more year in London. Mm. So you got this look, top of the head, sheen as I said, <coughs> then you got that almost horizontal line, look, that line here, almost horizontal, then you've got the <coughs> foot here, and then you have, look, from the tip of her bottom to the heel, it's not a very long distance like that. You've got the foot in here, obviously, and all the shadow area here. And you've got another, on the same line, you've got the lower part of the uh, kneecap, which is this one here, and then moving that way. Mm -hmm. uh, there you are. And then here, it's just a shadow, shadow, shadow there, which is right. It's, that's the other, it's the lower, whoops. That's the lower part of the arm. Um, oh, that's another model we'll do next week. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, upside down. Okay, well, we'll tell you. She's an actress, she's an actress, isn't she? It must be, I don't know. Let yeah, me see. Yeah, she is, yeah. Michaela Cole. Michaela? Yeah. Oh, you know her? Do you know her? Yeah, she's an actress. Okay. So we'll do that next week. She's yeah, it's beautiful. We'll do that next, a portrait next week, so. Okay, now what I've done here is that this is, look, another line which connects, connects the thigh at the top with this look. So that, that connects the top of the thigh with the lower arm. But then that makes, if I'm doing that, which I'm doing the lower part, that makes that part of the body really long. So what I need to do is bring the shoulder down, bring also this shoulder down. And a general half tone here. So that's the structure, you see, pretty much that's the structure. Then obviously a little bit more precise here with the breast, side of the, uh, half the body, is, well, one third of the body is in shadow, not half. Then you have the muscles here in the middle of, uh, uh, what are they called? Belly muscles, which they're not, basically, they're not. She doesn't have that, but here, then you have upper arm, and then this thigh creates a shadow on the upper arm. Look, there, there, there. I'm talking about this shadow here. Look, see this. So the thigh creates a shadow on here, and then that shadow connects with the wrist there. So that shadow connects with the wrist, and up right hand here. Hair here on that side, and this is extremely important. Look, sternum, that muscle here. Yeah. This is uh, get it work like you need to get <laughs> Oh, you have to be extremely thin <laughs> <laughs> to make it look so nice. Look, if you, but that's a really anchor point, it's very important because how? Why? Because first of all, it's in the middle of both shoulders roughly or pretty much and then secondly look the vertical line will go from that goes right there so from that so that is there that's where this muscle should be there and then you have shadow which is more hair than anything else there so you don't have to do it with her face just do it profile no no, exactly, because I had, yes, I was talking to the previous group, I said, do not do face, because it's not a portrait. No. Well, we, we've done portraits, I mean, yeah, that's a different one, that's a portrait. We, yeah, of course, we concentrate on the likeness, and, but that's not, it's, well, look, how much can you see there? Mm. Unless you zoom in, but if you, if you see the whole body, it's almost insignificant. It's just like a light and dark, light, dark, nothing else. Well, of course, I mean, if you knew the model, say Lisa, I know Lisa, but that's because you know the model. If you don't know her, you're not concentrating on the portrait. Again, it's not the portrait, it's about flow, movement and proportions. And now it's a time to be a little bit more courageous and do this, look. See the back, background, look. Now, why do you need that? You don't need that, but I think that helps to create depth. Huh? Nose. And there. See that creates depth? Again, you don't need to do it, but I think it helps. Look. So if it looks if it looks okay there, mm -hmm. and it should look okay or not, it should look okay when you do it. And also look, now the, here is light, okay? Uh, I'm think I'm doing something now that it's not there, but I think it will help. And what I'm what I'm trying to do it now here, here, all this area, it's a muscle area and it's coming towards us because you've got the sheen which is it's it's uh it's coming well it's uh, uh, what's the word? Exceeding eh? that area here. So you see that that's a soft muscle, but here you can see the bone. But they are both light. So how can I make that bone to be more visible? Well, one of the ways it's this one here. Look, although it's not it's not darker, but look what I'm doing. I'm darkening that on purpose. 
and that's a very harsh line so I'm look getting it like that again coming back and then keeping that very bright and hopefully now I realize that this line of the sheen of the kneecap is not straight like I've done it here it's an angular you notice yeah. that angle here and that's pretty much the same angle down there angle here come on go away angle here and then angle there both two angles and a shadow there which moves you see I'm talking about right here see that's what I was in, in, interested in so that shadow there and then you have dark 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 there now here again what I'm going trying to do is to keep that area which is a soft tissue down light and and then bring bring that with a light line bright line there without using actual line and then just working on the sheen here then. and to try and bring that bone structure forward and make the feet actually like this and to create what I wanted to create but with with light and shadow instead of with lines to bring so to bring the foot for, forward, but we like shadow. Maybe I didn't succeed, probably won't, no. But I'm trying at least to keep that soft tissue like that, line, and then uh, darker there, and then bring it with your lines and softer, softer, softer lines there. And to make that sheen come forward, if you see what I'm trying to do here, look. And look, I've given her a little bit more heel. Look, you see that? And makes the foot a bit more elegant. Now I'm adding toes here, although I, they're not there, or at least they're not in the picture. So I can keep them very soft, soft like that, a bit more. So again, trying to keep that light and then move with the shin, highlight there with the shin there. And bring the foot forward. Like that. Hmm? Now, now that will take a very crazy person to do what I'm trying to do now, which will be <laughs> look. It's it's very dark. Eh? Now I'm thinking. Well, you might think it's not too dark, but I'm thinking of that. Look. Right? I'll just now, go over it again. Yeah, yeah go, oh, go over it again. Gosh. But look, now this time with highlights. Let's back it up. One. I can still see where I was before. Look. Yeah. And it looks like a ghost image. Oh, it feels like a ghost. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's good. I think it's okay. It's a very it look. It's at the end of the day, it's an effect. Yes? It's you don't have to do it, but look, I'm showing you how many times and. How many different approaches you can do at the same drawing look here? Yeah, you see that? You've, and, you've got, gotten rid of the dark, so just... Uh, got got rid, yes. And I was a bit exaggerated because you see that's a new chamois. If you have an old chamois that's full of darks and full of charcoal, that will not be... will be a lot darker than what oh. I've done now. But it's okay, it's okay, it's a challenge. And then they're coming back with the darks, and keeping them a little bit more transparent than they were before, look. And coming back onto lines as well, coming and bring all those back again. You might be saying, well, why did you delete them the really first time? Place, yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> well, to create more transparent shadows and to, be, to show you that, look, you don't have to be afraid of changes. Eh? There, there you are. And you can increase that. You can make a bit more bony, a bit more, more hips, bigger hips. And uh, the face a bit more uh, precise and bring, bring back the head, especially at the top here. Hmm? You see, it's, it's, a, different, it's a, different, yeah. a different approach. And down here, just make sure that we have 
the wrist and her body there and the breast of the top there which is rounded and goes down sideways hmm? well that's the structure you don't need more than that now if you you might say well what do i do in 40 minutes because Say that you do that when the model yesterday, and you have 40 minutes. Will you do that, and you do another two or three of these? Yeah. And which is the best? You keep the best one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, different approaches. Okay, let's carry on with this. First of all, getting some darks going on here, which is basically that shadow here of a breast on the arm. Shadow. On the neck, hair, bit of uh, brush and um, dust from the charcoal, the willow charcoal, and then her hair, 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 lower arm, palm. Elongate part of the arm, portrait, touch on the portrait, lower eyelid, a line, and shadow of the face. Here, the breast on the other side, dark line or dark shadow here, which is casted by her two thighs, and you got the calf. Foot. All right, I think now it needs a little bit of um, charcoal. Charcoal, of course, and also a little bit of party rubber. Would you rather have it here with me? Close by. on the shoulder and uh, cast shadow the arm into her body soft shadows here Thigh and cast shadow of the thigh on her arm, lower part of her thigh, Shut up the other foot. And calf here. Calf and heel. And I think we need a little bit of dark background here. Just so that it emphasizes the body the front. Okay, and 
Tohle to druhý. Taky. Pohyb. Kása do těch hýb a odhnout. That's it. It's not a lot more. I don't mind doing more. I don't want to over draw it. It's, I most of the time end up over drawing. There's no need to go or do it. Oh. The movement is there, the gesture is there. So I don't think it needs to be a lot more detailed. It reflects and it portrays everything it needs to be. It's a young girl. Um, it's got the movement, shows emotions through the movement. You've got a little bit of indication of portrait. I like my portrait, the nose. Don't want to get too detailed with the lips and everything else because it's just too small the area. Any other color bone here? There we are. A little bit of shoulder on the right one. Then you have the shadow of the breast here. Highlight of the arm, lower arm, here. Need to be a little bit aware that it's not as bright as this part of the upper arm there. Not as bright. There we are. And just deviate a little bit of a, just close this area here before this so we know it's just we continuously be there it's not vague basically that's the continuation of the body here a little bit wider the thigh wouldn't hurt if i make a little bit of a wider thigh here and um, also a little bit of um plinth wherever the girl is sitting Go too dark. Sorry about the foxes you can hear here around me. I was thinking I'll film this at night, so then there will not be much noise going on, but I forgot about the foxes. Who would have thought, eh? Let's put up lips there. Indication of lips, nose. Hair. Kind of, uh, it kind of makes her blonde. Shin here, the heel, and then the foot itself right there. Highlight here, another kneecap. Before I spray, I'm gonna spray it now. Just a little touch on the chin, and that will be enough. Just bring up the chin a bit more, it's even lighter. Okay. Let's 
spray. with my brush and the real charcoal give it through some middle tones here just emphasize a little bit that this area is not as dark or it's not as bright sorry so that is not as bright as this area that eye it's under a shadow the body shadow so it cannot be as bright that's the whole idea behind it darker accents here to create a, a bone structure of the front, uh, of the cup and uh, sorry knee cup knee cup shadow here on the top of the lower knee cup so we've got the thigh down here and the arm I don't know what this hand is going there. I'm just giving my own version here of the hand. What might be doing. Look at it. Pinky come this way and all the rest of things moving forward. Um, a little bit of shadow here. Shadow of the belly. Um, yeah, a little bit of nipple on this side as well. We've got a little bit of middle tone value here of the left shoulder. Just move that a little bit more and quick so that I can see it create that shadow of the collarbone. Now I don't think I need, but I, I would add a little bit and push the push the chest back by darkening this area. I know it's not dark there, but I think it will benefit my drawing. And it pushes back the chest. That's a better drawing. Well, it's a, it creates a concept of that area. That area here is pushed back by darkening it a little bit more. And half tone on this cylinder, which is arm, obviously. Uh, now, if I sprayed, it would be hard to get those lights here, but I can try. A little bit for the breast here, moving it and highlighting it a bit more. Collarbone, coming back a bit of collarbone.
up shoulder. Can highlight a little bit of bum here. Some details about the toes, a little bit of shadow working on there, and then emphasizing the shin, as I said earlier on. Darken the shin and keep a light calf, which is here. Or at least lighter, not light, but lighter. Just a lighter tone, basically. Uh, just a lighter tone of value. Bring in that. Highlight onto the thigh as well, bringing the thigh, making the thigh a bit more rounded. Coming back and not losing that line and bringing back a little bit of that line here. Shin and the roundness of the thigh. There. All right. Okay, now I'll see you next week next tuesday wednesday whenever the drawing will be ready usually tuesday okay What's the date today? Day is 8th of the 2nd.